soak rice and dal together for 30 to 40 minutes dal water milk i have add everything into my pressure cooker i'm going to turn on my stove and i'm going to keep this for like three whistles and i'm going to keep this on the stove for two minutes and after that i'm going to remove this pressure cooker from the stove top and let it cool down before i make when pongal that is spicy pongal and sweet pongal that is chakre pongal Spicy pongal and sweet pongal. So that's called ven pongal and sweet pongal. So the ingredients what we need for it. First, I'm going to make ven pongal, that is spicy pongal. So for that, you need in. I will let you know about the ingredients. I have already cooked my dal and rice. It's ready in my pres pressure cooker. So I need. Cashew nuts, um, chili, ginger, um, uh, mustard, seed. mustard seeds, um, curry leaves. curry leaves, and cumin seeds, and uh, pepper. These are the ingredients you need, and you need hing, salt to taste, and you need ghee to fry all these ingredients. So let me turn on my stove. And meanwhile, I'm going to make, I'm going to do some pre-preparation for my sweet pongal. So for that, you need all these ingredients. Ghee, raisin, cardamom, Jaggery, cashew nuts, and you need ghee to saute all these things. If you need, you can add saffron, small pieces also. So, for this, I'm going to add my jaggery into my little amount of water just to soak this jaggery. Don't add too much water. Just little water, just to soak that. Turn on the stove and keep it on the stove. So your jaggery and water mixture is warming up. So you need two skillets. So side by side, I'm going to do two different things. One is wind pongal, another one is Sweet pongal, so my skillet is hot enough. I'm going to add ghee to it. Make sure your skillet is really hot. And my rice dal mixture is ready in my pressure cooker, so it's all set to go. So you need the uh, rice and dal mixture to be uh, hot enough. It should not be cold or it should not be warm. I'm going to add my ghee. Drop your ghee. This is for your venpongal. First, I'm going to prepare your venpongal. So once the ghee is hot enough, first we will be adding mustard seed, then peppercorn, cumin, ginger, chili, and curry leaf. After that, we will be adding our cashew nut one by one. So for Ven Pongal, it's always good to eat chutney. So for chutney, you need 
um, roasted chana dal, uh, cilantro, chili, coconut, and cumin seeds, and some ginger as well. Salt to taste and coconut, shredded coconut. My meanwhile, my jaggery is getting ready. Just boil that. You don't have to make it like so thick. Just little bit warm enough. That is more than enough. My ghee is getting ready. So once you keep everything ready, it's very very quick to make pongal. So you have to wait just for the ghee to heat up. So once that process is done, your wen pongal will be ready in a ready in few minutes. So my ghee is hot enough. I'm going to drop my mustard seed. So it's splattering. Now I'm going to add my peppercorn. So once peppercorn is popping, gradually you can add rest of the ingredients. But we have a question here. Um, for both of the pongals, can you boil the rice and dal together? Yeah, I always do two in one. So I pressure cook. Okay. 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 So you have to be very careful after you drop in your peppercorn. You have to be very very careful, otherwise it will pop on your face. So make sure. Gradually, we are adding all the ingredients which we need for our vegetables. Now I'm popping the curry leaf. Let it sauté for a few minutes. While that is sautéing, I'm going to add my thing. I it was really. Now I'm going to drop in my cashews. Make sure to sort it. So now it's time to add your salt to it. So you have to, I hope your rice and dal mixture is already cooked. Once you open your rice and dal mixture, you have to make sure to smash the mixture well. So I'm going to take like three by four of my rice and I'm going to make wen pongal, that is spicy pongal. And I'm going to have like one by four of this whole thing for my chakar, sweet pongal, chakar pongal. It's up to you. If you want like half and half, you can take half for spicy pongal and you can take half for your sweet pongal. And make sure if you take like half, then you have to increase your jaggery quantity. So you need a lot of ghee, so don't compromise in your ghee measurement. Otherwise, you don't feel like eating wen pongal. So this is like hotel style wen pongal. So you need the quantity 
what I mentioned in the list. So once in a while, eating a lot of ghee and ventogal, chakre pongal, whatever is, I don't mind. So you always top up with another spoon of ghee to it. And it's always good to eat hot. My little chef like to show when pongal is ready. So this is spicy pongal. This is ready. Now I'm going to do this instruction for my sweet pongal. So now we are going to make spicy pongal is done. Now we are going to make sweet pongal. As I have already mentioned, we need only mainly three ingredients. Okay, okay. It, is, okay. it is of two types. Yeah. It, it is of two types. Spicy and sweet. Yeah. So one time if you pressure cook your dal and rice mixture, it's good to you can make it with two Both. different varieties. Yeah. Okay. So okay. now I'm going to drop in my ghee. As I mentioned, don't compromise ghee while you're making pongal. Okay. So I'm going to drop in my ghee. Yes, sir. My mixture is ready. So you don't want the jaggery mixture, mixture to be so thick. Just you need it need that to be boiled. So now I'm going to add my cardamom. So you have to saute this cashew nut and raisin. I'm going to add my raisin in few seconds. So you have to add your raisins to it. Thank you, Kikana. So just make sure to saute this. Now it's time to add your dal and rice mixture into this. Sort it nicely, just pour your jaggery mixture. Out. Take a sieve and just drain it, drain it out any extra unwanted pieces. While this is getting ready, we can grain our chutney, which will go good with ben ben pongal. pongal. That is spicy pongal, as I have already mentioned. You need cilantro, um, coconut, uh, ginger, chili, um, cumin seeds, and salt. Yeah, these are the ingredients you need. So I'm going to grain that. So, I mean, thank you so much, Mohana, for taking this, uh, sharing this. 
<laughs> and had always a smiling face and always you know encouraging motivating and uh, so much appreciation you always do for everyone going to serve this spot wow wow <laughs> we are all coming to your house right away <laughs> to have the pongal <laughs> yeah oh. yeah so the so other thing other thing i think mohana always do uh, she never eat without uh, serving to god see this is the this is the yeah. thing that she follow right very nice so this time i requested her that okay even in enthusiastic session it's okay to share that okay this is what you do after after making the food it's good to serve to god to god yeah. yeah definitely um i love the enthusiasm and yeah and the beautiful dress also <laughs> mona <laughs> you're looking so beautiful for all your compliments you deserve it before i serve to kids i always drop you maybe Again, I will talk with the key. So it's up to you. Awesome. So we have chutney ready. We have uh, both the both the versions ready. Yeah. So what mm-hmm. we say, uh, the namkeen one, the salty one. What we say is there any specific name of this or just pongal? Ah, uh, red pongal. Yeah, red pongal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kids know it. <laughs> yeah, see that. They know it much more. Oh, what we know. know. Perfect. Yeah. Delicious. Okay. 